I would say my favourite thing about being in entertainment is um, to make other people feel the way I was made to feel when I first uh, went to a holiday park back in the day. You know, you're having such a good time and um, just you know, with great entertainment, you just you just feel happy. My favourite part about being an entertainer is the excitement, walking into a room and it's packed, people clapping along, singing along, joining in. It's all fun and games and of course all the stuff on the parks are amazing as well. It's got to be party dances all the way. Party dances, you can go crazy, wild, really enthusiastic on it. And I'd include Crazy Crew because that connects with it. Da -da -da -da. Woo! Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, my favourite thing about being an entertainer is meeting new people. Whether that's the staff on park, the owners, holiday makers, you are all amazing and I love meeting you all. Strangest thing I've ever eaten is probably um, when I worked in France and I tried escargot, uh, which is snails. Um, I mean, I eat a lot, so... My brother used to say that different coloured crayons are different flavours. <laughs> so me loving my food, I decided to try crayons. And they did not taste of anything like strawberries or bananas. He liked me. Johnny Bravo, can we just appreciate his muscles? Now, I wasn't blessed with upper body strength. However, his muscles, I mean, I know they're animated, but does it count? My biggest one is probably Saoirse Monica Jackson from Derry Girls. She plays the lead, Erin. Um, she's just, oh, I think she's so pretty. So Wayne Rock Johnson, our Fast and Furious, he is amazing. <gasps> These are bacon rashers. These are my favourite crisps in the world. And therefore, I will never share. It's definitely got to be anyone what knows me. A cup of tea. I would not share it. If anybody knows me, it's got to be food. I love... I can't pick my mouth goes. Oh my God. I absolutely love food. Um, there's not even a, like, a specific thing of food I won't share, just generally food. Just don't touch it. No, it's mine, don't mind. If you get specifically get the share packs, it's definitely not for sharing. It's just for me, okay? Some impressions, like celebrity impressions, I've been told that I do some of them quite well. So, thanks Jeremy, it's great to be here on Celebrity Juice. Ha ha ha, that's right, it's great to be here on Celebrity Juice. Keith, what's the first round? Let's go. I'll do, my name's Keith Lemon, welcome to Celebrity Juice, hurrah! Right, okay, now the secret behind any good team on a panel show is you must season them. Um, don't over season. But I've won a million pounds. What am I going to spend it on? Ooh. I think I'd go and buy a decent barbecue. A proper decent one. Do you know the ones where you have the top bit for like the chicken and then the bottom bit you'd have like for your burgers and then the side bits where you'd have your utensils. Yeah, like if I won a million quid, I'd go and buy a decent barbecue. Drum roll, please. A new house for all my family to live in together instead of being in two houses. And then I would treat them all to a five star luxury holiday. Pokemon Go, shows, and beaches and sun. Breaking a Guinness World Record. Records, records, records. Records. Is this something that, that I'm good at now or that I'd like to be good at? I'm, I'm confused by the question. Um... Probably, you know, uh, chicken nuggets. How many of them can you eat in a minute? 
Oh, I miss McDonald's. <laughs> Turn it off. Um, I can hide. I could probably hide. I'm quite good at hide and seek. Ooh. It would have to be my communicational skills. I would ring Brad Pitt up and go, mate, can you help me out? Look, you survived the zombie apocalypse in World War Z. So he's already survived one, so he's an expert. Absolutely not. I would, I would die probably within the first five seconds. Blunt objects, hit him in the head. That always, ow. I don't promote violence, 100%, but Barry Scott, mate, I would have to. Why? You keep shouting. There's no need to shout, is there? Just stop shouting. We can hear you through our speakers. Just go, hi, I'm Barry Scott. Just calm down, relax, and just go, hi, I'm Barry Scott. Would you like to buy some of my cleaning products? Happily, nice bloke. Can I buy my stuff now? I feel like I'm being bullied into it. There's no need to shout, Barry Scott. Just stop shouting at me. Kane Dingle, off of Emmerdale, is evil. Here. This one, because she keeps shaking the bag with Nemo in. Poor Nemo, he doesn't want to feel like he's in a jacuzzi, does he? He's, she's probably shaking it and he feels like he's on the wild mouse. Every fairground has a wild mouse. It was a wild cat. It's a cow or a mouse, it's one of them. My screensaver is me and my brother. It is a photo of my new baby tortoise. So instead of showing you on the phone, here's a guy. I thought I'd show you in real life. Um. Hi. You've got a homemade toy. I have made a fringe. If a movie was made about my life, I think playing me would have to be Jim Carrey. Alrighty then. Melissa McCarthy. Um... I was just about to say, I think she's absolutely hilarious, like, I think she's class, but that sounds like I'm calling myself class, isn't it, because it's meant to be me. Great question, and um, there's so many things to be proud of, well I am anyway. So, uh, 2017, I self-organised, self-funded, uh, three months in America, that's one month, or well, no, two months working at Camp America, and one month travelling. So I'm very proud of that. Is becoming an Ents manager of 2020 and winning automatic last year at the season party was a special recognition award. If it was literally I could hear the thoughts and everything, it would have to be Darren Brown because again, I'm a big fan of his and I'd love to know uh, how he does some of it. I know how he does some, but not all, and I, I wish I had his skill base, so yeah, I'd read Darren Brown's mind. I am I'm so nosy. I would, I'd, uh, I'd read everyone's. It would have to be my dog, Billy, because sometimes he just stares at you like this, and I never know what he's thinking. Once, one pair of pants per day. That is it. That's a trick question, isn't it? Easy, three. One normal day, next day inside out, and then the next day upside down. Bosh. Absolutely, you change it every single day. That mu Is that an actual question? Two days, maximum. 
I don't know, I feel like that's a trick question, isn't it? Because surely people do the same. I, uh, I don't know, I feel uncomfortable. If a seagull flies over the sea, what flies over the bay? <laughs> a bagel. <laughs> Why did the fish blush? Because it saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> What did the cheese say when it looked in the mirror? Hello me. Because <laughs> hello me is a cheese. And it's saying hello. He didn't say it had to be funny. What do you get when you cross an ice cream and a shark? Frostbite. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Biggish. Bigger shoe. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, no, that's bad. Okay, one more. All right. So a man walks into a bar. Ouch. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Sorry. I'm Jodie, your entertainment manager for Landscape Holiday Park. Bye. I hope everyone is safe and I hope everyone is healthy and I know it's not the greatest time right now but I'm sure we'll be sharing the stage with you very very shortly um, but my name is Amy and this year I am in, based in Essex at Dovercourt Holiday Park um, it's been a pleasure and I will see you very soon bye thanks for watching guys my name is Paddy I'm the entertainment manager at Colcoast Hall no wrong that was last year I'll do that again Thanks for watching guys, Paddy Magic here, uh, I'm the entertainment manager at Martello Beach this year, really looking forward to seeing everybody back there, but in the meantime remember, stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. Let's keep going. Thank you guys for watching, my name is Jess and if you want to come and visit I will be at Seawick this season, it is very close to Clacton on Sea in Essex, it's a beautiful park. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, I've been Parks Are Phil from Mali. Stay happy, stay smiling, and most importantly, keep dancing!